Hello. Welcome back. And as always, I hope you're doing well. Right. All right, before I start, guys, thank you for everyone who commented on my 10 things about Game of Death. Sorry I couldn't reply to half of them, but as I explained at the end of that video, I was moving offices and it's turned into a major, major incident. It took me two days to complete and I'm absolutely knackered. But as you can see, I'm now in a completely different room at Doomy Rambles. And I know the background is a little bit plain at the moment, but I do intend to get some sort of display unit and maybe display some of my Bruce Lee books and paraphernalia films. I don't exactly know what yet. Maybe you can put a few suggestions in the comment section down below. Maybe a canvas. I really haven't made up my mind yet. So, but I've got my desk in here. As you can see, I've got two cameras on the go now. And I can drown out the cars that drive up and down our road quite often. And in my other office, I'm constantly having to stop and then start again because a car's going by. This, I've soundproofed out a little bit better. So, fingers crossed it should all work out all right. Today's video, right. Remember a couple of weeks ago, I picked up some Hong Kong Legends DVDs from eBay. Picked up the beautiful Big Boss Platinum Edition. I picked up Fist of Fury, and as you can see now, up there, there's another camera facing down, so you can sort of see what I'm looking at. But the beautiful Fist of Fury in a platinum case, slip case, beautiful. And I picked up the standard edition or the special collector's edition of Game of Death 2, Why of the Dragon, and I got the Cine Asia Hong Kong Legends of Game of Death. I'll get back to that in a little while. Right, well, I picked up a couple of other bits. Now, I, as you know, I already had the 30th anniversary box set and that's why I got rid of all my Hong Kong Legends single editions but what I didn't really realize was the man and the legend and the legend from Hong Kong Legend was also the 30th anniversary tribute edition so as you know I wanted to get the way of the dragon in a slip case and as you guys all explained to me in the comment section there wasn't a way of the dragon in a slipcase. I didn't know this. I really didn't. I thought, wh why would you bring out a couple and then stop? Confusion. So anyway, as you can see, I picked up the way of the dragon. I thought it was the platinum edition. It does say platinum to this set, but at the top it says 30th anniversary tribute edition to go with the man, the legend. Right, so now we've got Special Collector's Editions, Tribute Anniversary 30th Editions, and Platinum. I've got a couple more. Right, so I picked up the Game of Death Platinum Edition, and I have got the 30th Tribute Disc in the post. Unfortunately, that eBay up was a little bit slow in postage. I was hoping to have it by now to show you what I've got so far. And I did think I completed the lot. I'm not sure now. As you can see, the cover on this one's not as nice as the other two. Didn't really take care of it as much, but it's on the shelf. I've got it. And uh, it's got oodles of extras on it. So I've got that one as well. I've also got the original special collector's editions of the big boss as you can see there um and this was the one that i remember coming out in the blue case because at the time and this is early 2000s maybe 2000 actually i'd already got the region one american master collection so they was all uncut so i pretty much ignored this when it first came out until i noticed I mean, it does actually say at the bottom there, totally uncut. But I would have just disregarded it because films was butchered in the UK and I just was sick of it. I always used to get my, whether it was Laserdisc or DVDs at the time, I used to get them, I used to import them from America because you knew they'd be uncut. It was when this one came out, 
Fist of Fury with the gold legendary nunchaku sequence now reinstated. And I thought, hang on. And when I got it home, the picture quality compared to the region one, because these are anamorphic widescreen, so a lot better picture quality, and they seemed vibrant and they were fully uncut. And obviously the game of death. Also, one of my subscribers, I can't remember who it was now, suggested or said that there is a Game of Death 2, which I know isn't an official Bruce Lee. Well, it is an official Bruce Lee movie, but it isn't. You know, it's, you know, like after Game of Death. But it does have footage from Enter the Dragon that you can't really see anywhere else, you know, where he's going into his room and having a little look at a bird in the cage. I know it's only a little bit, but there you go. But there was one with a certain cover on it, and it's the 30th anniversary tribute again. So I've got that at a great price. Really happy with that. Only paid 5 99 for it. You look at them on eBay now, and they're going for like 40 quid, which is mad. So result to get that. But I'm kind of left with a conundrum. I've got the special collector's edition of Fist of Fury, the big boss, the way of the dragon, Game of Death 2, so I'm missing Game of Death, Special Collector's Edition. Then Platinum Editions, I've got Fist of Fury, Big Boss, Game of Death. And then we've got Tribute Editions, to which I've got The Man of the Legend, The Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death 2. So I'm 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 taking they brought out for and I've got, like I said, the 30th anniversary tribute edition of Game of Death turning up. So I'm assuming they've probably done this with the Big Boss and Fist of Fury as well, haven't they? I think I've actually seen Big Boss in a black cover as opposed to the the blue that I've got in this one. I mean really, are they taking this or what? So we've got Platinum Editions, 30th Anniversary Tribute Editions, and Special Collector's Editions. What? Really? It's shocking. So I thought I was this close to completing the Hong Kong Legends collection. And I think I've got a few more to get now, which is a little bit annoying, because I am running out of uh, room on the shelf and excuses to my wife why I keep buying the same films over and over and over. So I'm kind of bit a little bit miffed about that so i've got was there platinum editions of wilder dragon that isn't the 30th tribute disc i haven't actually looked yet i'm a little bit afraid to do so because i'm going to end up parking me more money and we're going to holiday in two weeks so yeah is there a platinum edition i, I guess there probably is all the others are on it and I suppose there's Fist of Fury and Big Boss in these 30th anniversary tribute discs. And then, regarding the special collector's editions, there's going to be Game of Death, isn't there? There's bound to be. So I'm not quite there yet. I'm getting there. I mean, I'm quite pleased with what I've got so far, Hong Kong Legends-wise. Not to mention the box set. Now, getting back to the Cine Asia, I've had a think about it, and to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's worth me getting involved unless I see them out in the wild. I'm going to keep this. I am going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of it. And if I see them, I'm not going to start doing bids on eBay and try and get them. Because to be honest with you, I think it's exactly the same as the Platinum. And if it ain't exactly the same as the Platinum, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty much the same as the 30th anniversary tribute. I mean, they literally brought these films out, Hong Kong Legends, three different versions of them all, as well as the box set. Unreal. So if you could let me know in the comments, guys, because before I start looking for platinum editions of certain films and 30th anniversary editions but because i've got that completest brain i end up doing my own editing with it all but the cine asia i don't think i'm going to bother 
I don't, it's, there's no value in it. They're exactly the same. I know what I'm like though, that's the problem. Also, regarding these Hong Kong legends, I've been trying to find out the release dates of when they came out. And I looked on DVD Beaver, I think it is. Some are on there and some aren't. So does anyone know where there's a website? Because I can't seem to find the release dates of when they actually came out. I know these was 2000 and 2001 and 2003, but I don't know about the Platinum Editions. And the th I think this came out in 2003 as well, off the top of my head. But if you guys could sort of steer me in the dark, right direction, I really wouldn't mind, like you guys did with this one. I mean, you guys, I thought there was a slip cover for Way Out of Dragon, and there isn't one, which is a bit weird when you think about it. But that's what I love about this. That is, I absolutely love it. When I start steering off, you pull me back on. And that's, I love it. I really do, guys. You guys are amazing for that. So now I've got to try and find the platinum version of this. And uh, I do my own head in with it. There was me waiting for me game of death to turn up to sort of tell you that I've completed it all. I'm not quite there yet, am I? <laughs> but I'm getting there. And I'm quite happy with them. They look lovely on the shelf. But yeah, Hong Kong Legends tore the arse out of it on this one. I didn't, I never realised. I really didn't. But I'm happy with them and I'm really pleased about getting that game of death too. Because like I said, they're going for silly money on eBay. But if you could possibly let me know if anyone knows where there's a website or if you know yourself the dates when these was released because I wanted to do a little bit more of a educational type video this was released in blah 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 but that it's so sporadic the info that I have got that I didn't trust it so if anyone knows that would be absolutely amazing now like I mentioned um, I'm going away in a couple of weeks it's only at Cyprus for a week but what I might do is if I get the time actually now I've got this big desk in this room I might actually get all my DVDs and Blu-rays and give you a little bit of a show and tell you and tell you what I think about each release someone has asked me to do that in the past I just haven't, haven't gotten around to it I've always got other ideas and I've got a whole list some of you guys send me stuff and I think that's a good idea for a video so I'll write it down so I've got a few to go through yet but uh yeah so here you go that's where i'm up to so far i thought i had one more to turn up and i was really looking forward to that turning up but he only posted it yesterday so it's not going to be here till next week and i wanted to get a little video out for you guys for the weekend just something so alas i couldn't show you that but when i do the complete i will just give you a quick flick through and tell you what i think of them i mean these are amazing but bringing out three different versions, though, <laughs> uh, that's a little bit naughty. It really is. Anyway, that's it. Enough of my rambling for today. Right, so that's where I'm at so far. So let me know, guys, about the Platinum Editions. Is there one away out of Dragon, or is it just a 30th anniversary? I'm scared to look on eBay, otherwise I'm going to start spending money again. I'm going to end up doing it. I, know, I just know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up buying Fist of Fury and Big Boss uh, 30th Anniversary Editions. <laughs> Even though they're probably identical to the discs on here. A few moments later. That's it. That's it. I've had my little whinge. I've had my little moan. And I was all pleased with myself until I started looking into it. I thought, they've done it three times, I think. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Just a little video to put out and show you what I've been up to. Sorry I didn't reply to all your comments. I will endeavour to try to, but literally I had my computer, which is just wires everywhere, monitors everywhere, building new desks and chairs, and I don't want to bore you with it. Right, before I go, as always, if you like this sort of thing, possibly give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't cost you nothing, and it does help me out. Thank you all for the likes and comments. I really do appreciate it. And all the new subscribers. It's really going well again at the moment. And of course my patrons. You guys are magic. Have yourselves an amazing weekend guys. Much love. 
and I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Take care, people.